Hey, what's up? Welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I am Tyler. Thank you so much for stopping by. Long time no see, but here I am. I don't know if you saw, I don't know, several videos back. I was just like kind of burned out on it a little bit on reviews. So I've just been kind of drinking beer, maybe a little less than normal and just enjoying the ones that, um, you know, that I've bought and without having the pressure of reviewing. So uh, I don't know. I just felt like this is a good reason to because I was sent a box from Hot Butcher for the World, which I always appreciate uh, so much. They are just the best, best people. And uh, it's just, it's the least I can do uh, is review the beer that they send. So I know that they don't expect it, you know, to review every single beer, but uh, I like to uh, make sure I do most of it. So uh, this is gonna be hopefully a really tasty one. This is gonna be Butcher Gold. This is going to be a Liberty Hopped um, American style lager. 4.75%. This was canned on September 11th. So um, yeah, it says a uh, mild floral, sweet uh, barley and crisp citrus. I really do love a nice uh, hopped uh, American lager. So hopefully there is a little bit of a hop presence to this beer. Um, if there is, then I'm sure it's going to be really tasty. We're going to go proper glassware. Wow, look how light that is pouring. It's so weird seeing clear beer from some breweries, <laughs> especially Hot Butcher. Uh, they're definitely one of those for me. Um, anyway, 12 ounce can, which is pretty standard for, you know, that American style lager, but uh, crisp looking beer. It's got a, uh, just a very, very creamy, uh, white head going on, uh, very fluffy. Yeah, it looks nice though. The focus is doing kind of weird. Uh, come on. Maybe. There we go. Looks nice in the glass. There is some uh, bubbles streaming up from carbonation there. It looks really nice. Uh, it's pretty clear though. I mean, I can see my hand through it. So, uh, and you can probably see my face through there. About a two fingers of head there. Um, that's got that light, light straw color going on. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in it. Yeah, it smells like a, a, a lager. It's got that lager sort of yeasty type of aroma to it. It smells very, very light. You're just getting the malt with a slight hint of citrus. Yeah, it's like, um, yeah, I mean, the, it, it's hard to describe. Like, if you smelled an American lager, you smelled a Miller Lite, a, you know, Coors, all those beers. It smells like those in a way, but better. It's got a little bit more hop character, very much. Um, the malt just seems richer and uh, just a lot more fragrant. There's a little bit of a, uh, maybe like a um, herbal sort of thing going on too. Maybe a little bit of like a floral thing. It smells nice though. It smells really crushable. Let's try it. Cheers. Thanks, Hot Butcher. Mm. Yeah, e easy drinking. Um, I was hoping for more hop character. It's very light. It's got a crisp carbonation, crisp uh, sort of mouthfeel to it. Very light, very drinkable, crushable, refreshing. Uh, I'm not getting a lot of hops. If, if so, it's maybe just a tiny bit of a citrusy thing. I mean, it tastes like an American ale. It just tastes like it has more um, quality to it, like more quality ingredients, I guess you could say. You know, you go buy some ingredients for your favorite meal at like a gas station or, or just some kind of like tiny convenience store. And then you go to like some kind of, I don't know, like an upper tier uh, grocery store and buy ingredients there and you cook the same meal. The one with the better ingredients is tastes better. That's how this is. Mm. Yeah, I mean, nothing to complain about. Very tasty. If I could change one thing, 
Just give me a little more hops. Just a little. You don't have to go like IPL range, but just a little more. 4.75%. Um, can't taste the alcohol at all. Very, very crushable, like I said several times. It's easy to drink. Um, it's everything that you want in just a nice, easy drinking. You know, hanging out outside, watching the game. Um, chilling without having to like really watch what you're drinking like this is what it is it's you know what this is and it's just it's tasty so thank you hot butcher uh as for a rating i mean i'm gonna give this a four i think it's really solid um it's not even my favorite style but it's still really tasty and i'm gonna enjoy drinking it so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like comment subscribe and go check out hot butcher try to get their beer in your area i don't know if you have it but if you don't, you're missing out. We'll see you next time. Cheers.